and we're back and this time I'm going to show you how to blur the background in Adobe Lightroom. As always you will find the image via description link below. Now we want to put more focus on the model. Let us use under edit the auto button. We can adjust it further but let's not waste that much time on this. I've talked about that in one of my previous videos that you can find in my Lightroom playlist. Let's go to the brush and I'll show you how we can blur the background. We'll start a new brushing, use the mouse wheel and you can adjust the size of the brush. The feathering can be adjusted with the sliders. Make sure auto mask is checked. I'll zoom in and now I'll paint over the edges. If you can't find your overlay, just right click and cycle through the views. And you want to have it shown. So now you can see the mask in real time as it is applied. So there is no direct way to create a blur in Lightroom. You will have to use Photoshop for that. Or we can trick a little bit around and thus create more focus for a model. Like in this example. Let me speed this video up a little bit. Alright, once you've painted over the edges, just uncheck auto mask. Make your brush a little bit bigger with the mouse wheel for example or the sliders. And then paint over all the remaining areas. Once you've done that, cycle through the views until the overlays are hidden. And when we go down with the exposure, you can see there are still some areas I need to paint over with the brush. And that should be fine for this example to show the effect. Obviously we don't want to go too far down with the exposure. I might even add a little bit of contrast. But you want to go down with the clarity. Go all the way. You can go down with the dehaze a little bit. And also the sharpness. Go down with it. And I'll decrease the saturation slightly. And that makes a good effect. As compared to the original. If you've got an example where you want to go further with the effect. Just cycle through the views. Then right click on your overlay center point And duplicate it. So that's the way to make it even harsher or more intense. In this example it's too much, so right click delete, I only want to have one. A second option that you can use is to radio gradient. Let's create a new one. Left click and then adjust the size of it and the center position. We want to have the model covered by the radio gradient. I rotate it slightly to have a little bit of the lag in it as well. I've already pushed the feathering to the max and I've inverted it. Let me show you what it does without the inversion and with the inversion. So now I've got the background adjusted with a checkbox. And when you try out the feathering, you can see what that does. You really want to go high here so that the inversion of the radio gradient is affected entirely and a little bit of it is put within the radio gradient as well. It creates a nice transition. And here you do the same. Just go down with the exposure a little bit. Go down with the clarity and the sharpness. And maybe you want to check the saturation as well. And go down with the dehaze. So there's another thing that you can do on top of the first method of using the brush. In this example I'll stick to the simple brushing and this is how you can somewhat blur the background in Adobe Lightroom. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.